Test, test. All right. Take one. Well, ideally, I wish you were here today so that we could start off with our first movie project, but we're going to try to do this a simple way. We're going to try to break this down into over two or three days. And let's we'll start with today one just by giving information. Eventually, you're going to make a four shot movie. And really, movies are all based on not only story, but setting up your shots. Now there's lots of shots, but if you can keep four in mind, you'll be fine. Establishing shot or the wide shot is where you are. A long shot has the main character or the object seeing everything. Medium shot usually from the waist up and close up, think of it as headshots. Here are some examples of famous movies that start off in the very first scene is their establishing shot. If you think of a movie that you like, you may remember the very first image that the director has decided to show you. Long shots, full character in view. Medium shots, as you can tell here, two very famous medium shots. I have an interesting story about the Titanic movie, if you remember to ask me sometime. But usually from the waist up, medium shots. Now, as we said before, there's more than four shots in reality. Uh, and this one is a medium close-up, so it's actually more from the chest and the head, not from the waist. But you get, you get the general idea. And the big, other big category is close-up shots, or as we said, a head shot. Uh, 50,000 bonus points if you can name those two movies where in the close-ups on, on this scene. Extreme close-ups usually denote some sort of intensity or power or importance, as you can see here. Camera angles can be used to your advantage as well. And if you remember the Walkenstein movie from the other day, when he, the professor, finally has an idea of what he's going, how he's going to make his creation, it's actually an overshot, overhead, bird's eye view shot of his desk. Sometimes there's off angle shots to create some sort of chaos or some sort of danger. Lighting can set the mood. We'll deal with lighting on another day, but just a couple ideas here. So here's a quick example of a four shot movie with four different types of shots. Establish a shot, where are we? You might see there's a person next to the door there, but we're at a school. We have a student who's got something in his hand and there's some information on the window, the long shot. Medium shot, chest up. It's also showing some background information that turns out to be very important because in the close up shot, you get to see why the story makes sense and why he's there. So for today, we're gonna just simply ask you to go and watch a bunch of examples of four shot movies. You can see it right next to the place where this video is sitting on your screen. There's about 35 videos there, ranging from 10 seconds to 40. Pick a good sampling until you get the idea and see if you can recognize the four types of shots. Establish